I want to talk about a new parent function called the greatest integer function, and it's sometimes also called the floor function. And this is the symbol for it, the greatest integer of x. And the definition is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Let's do some, uh, let's evaluate it for a couple of numbers. The greatest integer less than or equal to 0.5. If you go on the number line and find 0.5 right here, the greatest integer less than or equal to 0.5 is 0. So it's equal to 0. Greatest integer less than or equal to 0 0.99. 0.99 is not quite 1, so the greatest integer less than or equal to 0.99 is also 0. And remember that it's the greatest integer less than or equal to. So the greatest integer less than or equal to 0 is itself 0. So all of these numbers have the same greatest integer 0. What about negative 0.5? Negative 0.5 is right here. The greatest integer less than or equal to negative 0.5 is negative 1. How about negative 0 0.01? That's ever so slightly to the left of 0. So the greatest integer less than or equal to negative 0.01 is negative 1. And of course, the greatest integer less than or equal to negative 1 is negative 1. So all three of these numbers have the same greatest integer, negative 1. What about something like root 2? The square root of 2 is about 1.41. 1.41 is in here. So the greatest integer less than or equal to root 2 is 1. How about pi? Pi is just a little more than 3, 3.14. The greatest integer less than or equal to pi is 3. And negative pi. Watch out for the greatest integer when you're dealing with negative numbers. Remember, you're always traveling to the left on the number line. Negative pi would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, would be over here. And so the greatest integer less than or equal to negative pi would actually be negative 4. So next, we're going to graph this function, and it's a very interesting graph.